Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about lunges now. So the deal is, uh, right now you've kind of got this ball tension right here. All right. What you want your fascia to do is convert from being in this tension mode, which seems kind of unnatural, and you're gonna not even think about it like after the first few weeks, into a lunge position. I don't I don't want them lunging from the ball of their foot. I want them lunging from the flat, or essentially where the arch is of their foot. Right. So what we're gonna do is say set. Right. The keyword is set. So when somebody sets for a lunge, hand comes out just a little bit because they're prepping with their hand, but their heel is setting, right? And their toe is coming up just a little bit, right? So from this position, set, right? Set, set, right? Right, on guard, right? Set, good, right? Hand forward, good. Not all the way, all right? ready? Set, good, ready? Set. All right, so the lunge we're gonna teach because there's already this tension as a long recovery, right? So in other words, when they pick up their foot this time, they're gonna push, they're gonna snap, it's gonna finish fast, but they're gonna go just a little bit further. Ready, guard, set, lunge. Good, the back leg should be straight, keep eyes forward. All right, so things to look out for. So they need to actually be doing something with this back hand, all right? I'm always forward, always forward, always forward. Back leg is straight. Now check the knee position. Knee should be above the heels. We're gonna have to fix that manually. That's what you're gonna have to check as best. All right, good. Just relax. So we're not gonna teach recovery at this point. On guard, set, lunge. You're gonna go just a little faster, a little further. Now the ideal lunge distance uh, for strategic purposes in a college setting we're not gonna do the traditional classical like huge wind up for the lunge with a long flying lunge that, that takes forever to happen. And the reason why is because it telegraphs too much to the opponent and it, the execution time is extremely long and since fencing now occurs with extremely fast hand actions, uh, there's no reason that to, to do an extremely long lunge anymore. So this time, you want your front toe to end up about right there. Right. Good. Right. Ready? Set. Lunge. Good. Hold. Right. All right. So, uh, assume the lunge position again. Let's talk recovery now. So, from this position to teach the recovery, you need to teach uh, taking the back leg, which is straight, and then making it flexible. So, what I want you to do is bend the back leg. Yep. And then go back into it. And then bend just a little bit. Good. All right. Bend. Go back into it. Okay, so this time, instead of bending, I actually want you to push and then snap shut, but the back leg has to be flexible when you do it. Ready? And push up. Good. All right, so all together now, on guard. Set, lunge. Recover. Up. All right, on guard. Set, lunge. Hold, let's shift. There you go. All right, palm up. Ready? Recover. Up. Set, lunge. Recover. Set, lunge, recover. So notice the cues that I'm giving now emphasize the lunge, and the set is just a little bit of a breath of the cue. On guard, ready? And lunge, recover. Lunge, up, recover. Lunge, 